Little Aang. And then we have Appa. Does your shirt, it says Visa Las Vegas? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just saw that for the first time. Yeah, I was, oh, at, no. I was at the thrift store and I saw this shirt that said Visa, Visa Las Vegas. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's when I got that witch, the Wichita <gasps> state shirt that I gave you. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's so funny. It's such a Visa wall- Las Vegas. <laughs> I didn't this. see that at all <laughs> until just now. Visa Las, Las Vegas. <laughs> that is a funny. That's so dumb. That's the dumbest shirt I've ever seen, but it's so good. I think it's like definitely huh. like a Walgreens or gas station T-shirt. Oh my gosh, that's it was the like funniest. Five dollars, so I bought it. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I think that is really hilarious, Visa. and I'm happy that you own it since you're from Las Vegas. Like it's even better. <laughs> Yeah, I love, oh, I love me a CVS shirt. Oh, my god! That just gosh. says home. Home. Or, like, there was one where it's, like, in cursive, Burbank. <laughs> and then, like, a map of Burbank. There's, there's, and so I really wanted to buy oh, it. You didn't get it? No, I mean, I could go whenever. Oh, go <laughs> so get like it. like, they're sold out. That would be, I would love that shirt. CVS had, like, a shirt of just a fish, and it said, fishing. Nice. And just a fish. I love that shit. I love that stupid, simple, campy, middle America shit. It's the best. Yeah. I have a sweatshirt that says TGIFK. Thank God. And then it says TGIF. And then underneath it says, thank God I'm from Kansas. And I wear it quite often. I love that sweatshirt. Uh, I had so a much. shirt that had Deadpool on it holding comic books. And it just said, I have issues. Oh my God. That's so dumb. <laughs> And then there was one where it's oh. Spider Man and a girl, and it said pickup artist. <laughs> and he's swinging through the air. Why are you wearing these shirts? I don't know. They're at my house. You have to get them, and you have to start wearing them. They're so good. My dad wears that type of shit all the time, unironically. <laughs> yeah, that's un- unironically dad shirts. Uh. I just can't get over the visa. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, I just can't I don't get over know. It. This definitely had to be like some like event. Oh my god. For gosh. Visa MasterCard. And then it was at Las Vegas. I'm like actually crying. That's the funniest thing. Oh my gosh, that was so good. Okay. What's up? I'm Lexi Simonson. And I'm Justin Gentilla. And this is Spicy Tuna, a podcast where we talk about content or media that's new to one or both of us. We'll be covering anything from TV, movies, a bunch of other stuff. Right now we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender. I've seen it. And I have not. So let's get into it. Pretty. Uh oh. Shit, what the fuck? No, no, no. What are you doing? Keeping rocks from crushing you. Okay, I'm not crushed. You can get off me now. My gosh, say thank you. Thank you. She is what are you doing here? like the Joker. You mean it's not obvious yet? I'm about to celebrate becoming an only child. <laughs> Yikes! Watch this. Grabs that put. He's like, I ain't taking this with me. Bringing Suki. I'm taking this one with me. I gotta, ta- <laughs> I gotta-, <laughs> I gotta take this side with me. <laughs> I gotta bring that shit with me, bro. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he never quits. Watch this shit, bro. Woo! Woo! He's been training. Fine, fine, fine. Ooh, she- he's-, he's catching up. He's catching up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Maybe you could reconquer Boxing Say in the name of the Earth King. Or, I know, you could bring my mother back. <laughs> okay. Zuko didn't kill your mom, Katara. Jeez. Oh, shit. Zuko, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Why would I be expecting anyone different? <clears throat> so, what's on your mind? I know this may seem out of nowhere, but I want you to tell me what happened to your mother. What? Why would you want to know that? Katara mentioned it before when we were in prison together in Boston, say. And again just now when she was yelling at me. She and again the last time. And then again the last time. She mentions it pretty often. She connected her anger about that to her anger at me. I'm going to find Mom. Many of the warriors had seen the Black Stone before, and they knew what it meant. Oh. The fire nation went. <laughs> Wait. Can you remember any details about the soldiers who raided your village? Like, what the lead ship looked like? 
Yeah. Sea Ravens. The main ship had flags with Sea Ravens on them. The symbol of the Southern Raiders. I know who killed your mother. I'm going to help you find it. I need to borrow Aqua. Oh my god. Why? Is it your turn to take a little field trip with Zuko? Yes. It is. I knew you wouldn't understand. Shut up. Oh my god. Wait, stop. I do understand. You're feeling unbelievable pain and rage. How do you think I felt about the Sandbenders when they- He literally also up? lost an entire nation. How do you think yeah. I felt the Fire Nation when I found out what happened to my people? No, Jeez. you don't understand. This is about getting closure and justice. I don't think so. I think it's about getting revenge. Katara, she was my mother too. But I think Aang might be right. Then you didn't love her the way I did. Oh my Katara. gosh. Katara. Monks used to say that revenge is like a two-headed rat viper. While you watch your enemy go down, you're being poisoned yourself. Dude. Aang with the bars. Yeah. Also, they kissed and then they never talked about it. So you were just going to take Appa anyway? <laughs> yes. It's okay. Because I forgive you. That give you any ideas? <laughs> Don't try to stop us. I wasn't planning to. Stealth mission, though. That's kind of badass. They are, like, talent-wise, though, a match made in heaven. Because they're opposites. Yeah. You are your mother. Get out of here! Find your dad, sweetie. I'll handle this. See ya. They're all dead. Yeah, they can't swim. Ooh. Jeez. I love her little water arms. I love that they have weapons and never use them. Yeah, fuck it. These episodes are going by so fast. Who are you? You don't remember her? You will soon. Trust me. Trust me. I love that Zuko is such a like a Ooh. feminist ally. Ooh. Yeah, she did it. Oh shit! Oh shit! She didn't give a fuck. Zuko's like, excuse me? Yeah, what the fuck? Think back. Oh. Ah! It's not him. Oh. oh. He's not the man. You must be looking for young Ra. He retired four years ago. Les hommes. <laughs> Nobody sneaks up on me without getting burned. She just makes it like rain even harder on him. Yeah, fuck it. Oh. Do you know who I am? No, you were three. I'm not sure. Oh, you better remember me like your life depends on it. God damn. Why don't you take a closer look? She goes, yes. Something yes. Happens. I remember you now. You are the little water tribe girl. Woo! And I'll give you the information you want. My source says there's one waterbender left in the Southern Water Tribe. We're not leaving until we find the waterbender. Oh shit. I tell you, do you promise to leave the rest of the village alone? Hmm. It's me. Take me as your prisoner. I'm afraid I'm not taking prisoners today. Oh, oh shit. She lied to you. She was protecting the last waterbender. Ooh. Me, bitch. Oh. Oh my gosh. And she's gonna just pummel him. Do it. I mean, honestly, do it. Thank you. Woo. Okay. But I am ready to forgive you. 
They just start making out. <laughs> Could you imagine? That'd be so bad. You were right about what Katara needed. Violence wasn't the answer. It never is. Then I have a question for you. How are you gonna kill my dad? What are you gonna do when you face my father? Yeah, there we go. Honestly, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Let's start this thing. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Okay, so, go. The Southern Raiders. The Southern Raiders, okay. Um, here's this blurb. Katara's angry at everyone. Or no, I'm gonna start over. Katara is super pissed specifically at Zuko, but she's actually directing all of her anger that she has for the man who killed her father at Zuko. Mother. Mother. Ugh, God, I'm messing this up. At Zuko. Mm. And so Zuko's like, all right, cool, then let's just go kill this man. And Katara's like, that's a great idea. And Aang is like, that's not a good idea. And they do it anyways. Yeah. Um, And Aang is like, hey, just like maybe think about sparing him like yeah. try to forgive um and she's like all right and <laughs> so they head over there they absolutely Flower. conquer the what are they called the southern raiders the so they conquer the sun southern raiders so quick they beat their asses just to find that the guy isn't there so then they find the guy and they see that he sucks and katara's like you know what whatever it's not even worth it and they leave and then Aang is like, good job. And she's like, I forgive you, Zuko. And that's about it. Mm. And it was a good episode. It felt so short, though. Yeah, it goes by pretty fast. Yeah. Because things just kind of happen. Like, Look, listen, we know what happened to her mom. We don't need a... We know what happened. <laughs> we you don't like, need a big synopsis on it. I mean... <sighs> well, we don't know the details, which is kind of... We makes don't know, it even worse. Yeah, it makes it worse. Um, yeah. But she... Yeah, so... I mean, the the episode kicks off with that really sweet opener of like... Azula, who's again on edge because her. Oh her, yeah, her I forgot friends, about the big opener. Her friends abandoned her. Now she has nobody. You oh, she's see, unhinged. You could see how unhinged she's getting. She, she, um, she what did she say? She goes, "I'm, I'm celebrating, celebrating becoming an only child." child. <laughs> Said it's so like jokery. I was yeah. like, she's actually in her Joker yeah, era. I mean, she's fucking insane right now. I mean, she has no Wild. friends anymore. Yeah, no, she Out has of the no two friends. she had. Now she's zero and two. Oh, zero and two for and, sure. And 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 then, but dude. Zuko is keeping up. He's like he's tit for tat. It. He's not. He's, he's not that little it. boy that got like his ass beat on that ship in the first episode of season no. two. He's fucking, fucking doing the sun warrior <laughs> shit, blocking her fire, and then fucking throwing it back at her face. They exploded. They exploded, yeah. and he he's like survived, and she like almost did not survive. She was. Yeah falling like that she was falling like a bug <laughs> yeah she was like a bug falling through the clouds yeah. and of course then she and like yeah. fire uh, she like fucking iron man her way out of it she is she's fully iron manning yeah it's crazy uh but it was it was cool but then you you know rubble falls on katara that's and, right and zuko saves, saves her. her and she's, she's like, like get, uh, off, get of off me <laughs> i'm like say fucking thank you oh yeah, i know she's she's she was a little she was emotional yeah, and listen, I get it. I I get it. Uh, but yeah. I mean, come like I was just like, all right. It's yeah. a little much. A little now. a little projecting onto like, Zuko. Like so and, much projecting that I was yeah. like, this is it's getting like annoying now. It's yeah. getting really annoying. And then the, everyone was warming up to him, you know, he made yeah. he's having tea hanging out. Just you know, hanging. He, they're camping. Oh, and then Sokka had to regret that. He was like, you're coming with fucking with me. Oh, I la we laughed so hard. Hold on. Let's just, uh, we all, p it was in the, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah. things, but we're going to put it again, again, again right now. <laughs> okay. Watch this. He grabs that put. He's like, I ain't taking this with me. Bring in Suki. I I'm taking this one with me. I got to yeah. <laughs> take this side with me. <laughs> I got to bring that shit with me, bro. Oh. <laughs> Dude, yeah, he grabbed. He was like, "All right, everyone, leave." Not you. Yeah, you're coming with you're, us. I was like, <laughs> "I'm not losing that one for he a goes, second. He's like, "He's like, I've been camping with Toph and my sister <laughs> yeah. for months. months. <laughs> I need some relief." <laughs> <laughs> you're coming with me baby he he's ripped like, her away from because she was like walking she's like to yo his okay dad. let's, let's bring and he's like no 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 you're with me and the dad is like oh uh, what <laughs> <laughs> he goes his dad's like i know i katara was so concerned about the family splitting up and she was like we're not separating our family again and he's like bye dad let's go suki he goes yeah 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 let me get uh, that. bye dad see ya he's like oh there's only room for one more see ya 
<laughs> we're, we're we're bringing mine. <laughs> that was so. I laughed so hard. That was you so bring funny. The dump truck with him. <laughs> she's so hot. He's, he, she's so hot and she's such like a cool girl and and to fast forward a bit they were gonna fuck in that tent they were fully gonna fuck he had his he was on his belly did you see on his belly with his feet up, his legs just, mm, 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 and his toe and he, he had a rose he had a in his rose mouth. in his mouth and he yeah. swallowed the rose when zuko came in she's he's like, like oh hey <laughs> yeah wrong tent no, i saw bye. so many memes after that scene that people were like Toph is hearing it all. Dude, you said that, and that's all I thought about for like the rest of the Toph's episode. Toph's probably like asleep, and then she just... Just, just, just the, just the, <laughs> the rumbling. Like, and she's feeling the plates. Yeah, she's no, she's the, like... She's feeling the fucking earth, dude. No wonder she has a crush on Sokka. <laughs> she's like, damn. Oh, my the- gosh. <laughs> oh, my God. This waterbender. <laughs> she's like asleep. What the fuck is what that? Is that? <laughs> She's like, what is that? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Everyone's like fully <gasps> asleep. And you're <gasps> oh. <laughs> She's like boomerang. Oh my gosh. She's like, it's about to come back. <laughs> oh man. No, yeah, and it's it's no wonder that Toph has a little crush. Yeah, she's um, hearing him putting that work in. Yeah. And then so then back so okay, let's just talk <laughs> about the fact. Let's just Get get serious. Right. Suki's grippy aside. Suki, Suki <laughs> Suki's hot bot aside. Um, Katara and Zuko bring out the absolute worst in each other. Yeah. So Zuko um asks Sokka, uh, horny Sokka, what happened to his mom? Uh, total boner killer. <laughs> uh, yeah. He was like, okay, yeah, yeah let's, bye. Let's talk about the most traumatic thing in my life. He's as I'm, like, trying yeah. To- fuck yeah, he's, he, he's he literally was like it's not really something i like to think about he literally <laughs> said that he's like he's like bro i'm like trying to and now i have to talk about my dead mom yeah <laughs> and he's like okay bye see ya he goes yeah get the fuck out he goes but um Suki. so he finds out yeah the story exactly and what happened knows that it's the southern raiders yep uh and he's like katara let's go get these ops yeah and Katara's and like fuck yeah bro let's go i hate you but let's go she was on one the the line to Sokka was kind of a lot uh yeah i feel like that crossed the line she needs to apologize to him i, I, agree. I hope she did i agree at, at well point. and her saying her saying well you didn't love her exactly like yeah. i did her enough or whatever i was like that's too much i'm sorry but like you need to start dealing with this like you can't yeah. be saying shit like that that's yeah. fucked up it was yeah it was fucked up he was i was like he's like that's my mom too yeah you don't you, you well, maybe you didn't love her like i did that I, I was getting mad too because she's like ang you don't understand i'm like he kind of he f- understands way more than you arguably arguably like, he has no family left literally like not even arguably like it's a fact yeah, like, like you you have your i'm not saying that to minimize her struggle yeah but like you know her dad she has like her she has tribe, her dad her, her brother her, her grand grand her whole entire tribe and yeah. ang has uh no one he has his he has, friends he has appa and momo technically those yeah. are the only airbender things he has left yeah and a girl who doesn't even want to kiss him anymore <laughs> yeah that's about it who's li- i'm like if the avatar can't get some who the fuck can get some <laughs> What in the world? Uh, but he, uh, but Aang was pretty wise in this episode. You he know? was so wise. He was really spitting it out. Yeah, I mean, he, he, you know, he's a monk, so he understands. He's a little bit more of a passive. Yeah. Uh, so, in in question for you, do you would you have what would you do in this situation? I was literally going to ask you the same. Are you going to go for that revenge? Go first. Um, I am very much. I I'm going for the forgiveness. Like I've had, I'm not gonna lie. I've had something else. No, I've had a couple things happen this year where I really had to chew. Like I, because that's kind of the way like the world works. Though, like you don't, you Mm. just don't always get closure. Yeah, and you have to figure out like how to get your own closure. But if you could, are you gonna have it paid in blood? What are you gonna do? I mean, there's like, like, I think taking another human life would eat at me. Like, uh, the right. guilt would crush me. But there is Even if it was someone that one did person. Nope. There is one person that I would still drive over with my car and I would smile and I would go to In-N-Out Burger after. Like, I don't give a shit. And yeah, if he yeah. ever watches this, you were my sister's first boyfriend, like oh, real no. boyfriend, real, real boyfriend. And I will do horrible things to you. Yeah. I yeah. cannot. I literally, he, 
I would do it. I would. I would. I would. I would. I'm not like that. Is there's only one person that I would like truly want to seek revenge on. Um, but I guess revenge. But in it's general. also not my revenge to seek. Yeah. So that's it's a little different. But like I, I. Are you a revenge in, per, in general person? No, I I don't normally hold I don't normally hold grudges. Like I don't. Yeah. I can usually I don't forget, but I can mm. absolutely like forgive and see like yeah. situations for like what they really were like. I am able to like work through things that way, but it is yeah. hard. Like it takes a while. Yeah, it's really hard. It, like it's it's so I get like Katara taking three full seasons to you know come to this, but like yeah. it's fine. Like I get it, but it is a lot for the show. But so what about you? Like are you have you have you been in an instant where you could or you did seek revenge or like have you ever been in that situation i don't know i feel like i'm just a petty i can be really petty ah uh, yes so i'm not necessarily yeah. like i'm gonna do something outlandish to you yeah but i won't forget right that's the thing yeah i i'm i'm when it comes to wrongdoing i'm an elephant yeah 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 i don't yeah. forget yeah so i don't know it's tough because uh, you know, Aang also has like a very good point to bring up that right. revenge is like a two headed viper. And he goes, yeah, which you're... is, you know, uh, and the thing is like uh, uh, grudges are just you putting like keeping that person, like giving them so much power over you. Yes, still. that's exactly right. So, They're literally living rent free in your mind, in like your that head, kind of thing. Head. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause I, even like Mike Tyson was saying one time, cause he was talking to Saquon Barkley I don't know why that came up on my for you page too, but uh, Saquon was like, "Yeah, I cut ties," and Mike is like, "No, I don't. Well, like, why? Why are you still emotionally invested into that person?" Yeah, after they, he's like, "Even if they've done you wrong," and he goes, "Yeah, just why are release you still them." Mad? And I was like, "That's true." Yeah, you know, to a certain extent, but um, I think it was important. I mean, Ang was right. You know, you need to go on this journey alone. Yeah, you got. He was like, "Listen." You've got to figure this <laughs> but, out. This but, is getting but, really but intense. Zuko, Zuko was like, yeah, whatever, bud. We're going to fuck it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I totally thought, honestly, when they were walking away, when they finally found him, yeah. when yeah. they were, when she was like, but I just still can't do it. And the water went over him and she walked away. I totally thought Zuko was going to go around and but be like, ain't me. I totally thought he was going to just like murder that but, guy. I mean, it was, it, you know, it's, uh, this episode is very much Katara's journey with Zuko, which is funny. But yeah, you're right. Like, I think Zuko, I think Aang was good to check Katara a bit because Zuko was going to be yeah. like, yeah, let's fucking kill him. But it was dope. I mean, they go on, uh, on stealth missions. Oh, and that was sick. They're yeah. so, that's what sucks is that they bring out the worst in each other, but they're so good together. Yeah. Like, like yeah. not yeah. emotional, not romantically at all. Like, I know that I did ship them before, but now You're I'm like, a full Katang. I'm a full Katang and I'm, we'll get into the next episode and we'll talk about what happened. But like, right. They are, they're like fire and ice, literally. Like, they're so good. Like, they can just balance each other out. Right. Like, they make each other better, but also bring out the worst. In I each think also weird. emotionally, they're not. They wouldn't connect in that regard. Yeah, no, um, no, no. So I, I think because like I think May does a good job of checking Zuko. And, yes, and Aang yeah. was able to do that to Katara. Yep, yep. But so yeah, my one of my favorite scenes is them just like running around with fucking ninja masks. Dude, that was and awesome. Then, uh, uh, and then they invade that ship, and then um, fucking her and Appa, they went out of the water. I was like, that was so bad. Dude, badass. they were just um, they were on. She one. did ink bending. She did and blood then she bending. Fucking blood bending. I was stunned yeah i was stunned that she actually did it because she always like i can never I do, can it. Never do it. bro she didn't <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Did, she goes see a motherfucker she like because she fully thought that was the dude that murked yep. her mom so yep. she was like i'm ready to go and, and zuko like, zuko literally shit. goes <laughs> he's never seen that before and he's never knew that existed so yeah. he was like what the he's like fuck? respect he was like what the fuck yeah that's fucking terrifying uh, but then it wasn't him yeah. The guy retired <laughs> and then they found him. I love that he retired. Yeah, he, just retired <laughs> he retired four, four years, years ago. ago. But it was, you know, it was crazy because uh, he lives a shitty life. His yeah. His mom's yelling at him. He's a piece of shit. So basically He's, her revenge is just letting him live now. Yeah. Her revenge is, is, is doing good. Yeah. Her revenge is like being a good person. Yep. That's yep. that. That's that sweet revenge. That is. That's the sweet revenge where it's like, actually, I'm just going to let you live in your bad yeah, life. Yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. fun. When she stopped the rain too, that was fucking nuts, dude. When she, she yeah, but then we reveal that like the big reason her mother is, was killed was because yeah. they found out that that she 
that there was a waterbender mm-hmm. in the Southern uh, Water Tribe, and she said it was her and not Katara. Yeah. And that's why she's dead. That is which crazy. Is nuts. Because if they would have found. They would have killed Katara. The, well, and if they. It would have been a different, like, woman that they cornered. They could have given up Katara and killed yeah. Katara. Yeah, but like, that's her mom. So she was like. <laughs> And when he goes, we're not taking prisoners today. I was like, yikes. Fucking, Ugh. that's a tough line to give. Yeah. And he did not seem like it hurt that bad to give it. Yeah. He was like smiling. Yeah, he's he, a bad person. Yeah, he's a bad person. But clearly, karma's going to get him. Oh, he yeah. Karma always catches up. His mom hates him. He can't. He, he has a shitty garden. Yeah. Karma is my boyfriend. But now, but now he's going to have to live with that fear that Katara, you know, instilled in him. So. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah, the, and then the episode ends, and then Zuko asks, "What is? What are you gonna do with my dad, bro?" Yeah, because he's like, "Okay, so if like violence is never the answer, then what are you gonna do?" Yeah, yeah. and Aang is like, oh, he's like "I don't know. I don't know. He's gonna have to do something because he is not gonna beat the Fire Lord with love. Like he's just not. I just don't." Like they're not hey, gonna hey, hug hey. at the end. Let's hug it out. <laughs> hey, can, let's just talk about this. Yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. I can hear Aang though giving the line like, "Can we just talk about it?" I don't know why I can just hear that. <laughs> Is that a give it one shot? You know. Yeah. So they. Uh, so yeah. Now Aang has to face his conundrum of what does he do with the Fire Lord? What's he do? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Break his fucking legs. <laughs> Hopefully. Pa 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 pa. Yikes. All right. Next cool. episode. The next episode. Ember Island Playoff, baby! We've already been to Ember Island, so what are we doing back? We were just in town and we found this poster. <laughs> Ooh! It's literally the season one like poster. Possible. Listen to this. The Boy in the Iceberg is a new production from... <laughs> the Boy in the Iceberg is like the Staff pilot episode. Gathering information on the Avatar. Oh. Hey, uh, I wanted to sit there. Just the next to me. What's the big deal? I was just... Uh, I wanted to... You fucking cock block, dude. Okay. Oh, he sucks! Boy? <laughs> I'm the Avatar, silly! Here to spread joy and fun! Wait, is that a woman? <laughs> <laughs> no, not Oppa with eyelashes! Stop! <laughs> yeah, Katara's sexy as fuck. Making me tear. It's making me tear bend. I love that they just cast her as a crybaby. No. I must capture the avatar to regain my honor. Brainwash scene. Wait, what scene is this? Remember when he got brainwashed? Who? Jet. Oh, Jet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Look at him trying. Look at him trying to find the rock. <laughs> oh. Did Jet just die? You know, it was really unclear. <laughs> oh. Breaking the fourth wall a bit. I really find you attractive. You don't have to make fun of me. 
But I mean it. I've had eyes for you since the day you first captured me. Mm. Avatar State, yep, yep. <laughs> no, not. Oh my gosh. We kissed at the invasion, and I thought we were gonna be together. Oh. But we're not. And I don't know. Yes, we have done it. I don't like this the at all. Of my father and my father's father and now he realized. The world is mine. That is awful. That was it. That wasn't a good play. I'll say. No kidding. Horrible. You said it. But the effects were decent. But the effects were decent. That's it? Yeah, before the finale. I didn't like that. I didn't like that episode. Your turn for blum 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 blum. Your turn uh, for the blurb. So the gang decide to go watch a play. Um, they're on Ember Island. They're on Ember Island and they go to watch a play. Uh, we get a recap of the entire series. Yeah. Uh, through the lens of some thespians, mm -hmm. and and we see we see uh, also somewhat of Fire Nation propaganda, basically. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Aang and Katara attempt to figure out what they are. Zuko has a very touching scene with Toph. Yep. Um, Sokka continues to be funny. Yeah. Um, and then the play ends with them getting defeated. Them actually like dying. And that's it. And then they're all in horrible moods after. I love this episode. It's like so fun before like the finale. I did not like this episode at all. I thought it was hilarious. Did you not find it funny at all? It was funny, but I was just like, but I'm also like, what else are you going to do? Yeah. You know what I mean? I it was a recap. It was a nice little recap. I know. The, I don't know the, why I didn't like it very much. I just didn't. Oh, okay. I mean, if you, if you don't like funny, just a whole funny episode, I understand. I think because I'm just so in it and I, it's so intense now. So I'm used to the intensity. Yeah. So, and well, they I'm brought, like, either brought you down because they're about to bring you up. Yeah. 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 But um, it wasn't all bad. Me being like, I didn't like this episode. That's a little intense. It just what I was just like. I didn't like this episode because I wanted it to bring Aang and Katara together. Yeah. And instead it didn't. Yeah. And then instead instead they had to she has to figure out her feelings, of course. Yeah. Well and then Aang kind Women. of incon unconsensually kissed Katara. He's not reading those sucked. signs very well. He did not read the room and it was like afterwards like fuck. Like maybe a hug would have been better or Honestly, even just like a touch of the hand he could have just left it alone let her fester yeah let yeah because that was bad i mean yeah. i mean also <laughs> though katara have we need to have this conversation yeah you can't not have this conversation no like the poor kid's so, suffering i can't even yeah. imagine like if He's, i were him yeah no i'd just be like like oh i would be psychotic i couldn't imagine kissing someone and then like us all hanging out and then just no not one talking, talking about, about it. it i'd be like Okay. It would be so awkward. It would be p actually painful. I mean, to be fair, to in Katara's point, they literally are in the middle of a war, and you are the Avatar. Oh, she's so right. So you could figure this out later. Yeah, absolutely. But, but they Buddy's could this been out in later. love with you, and you know he's. And been you in love know with you. it. You know it. Like you could have had this conversation so quick. You could afterwards. have just been like, "Yo," and he probably would have. You, bro, if you guys like fucking made out right now he'd probably be in the avatar state oh uh, yeah he would fully ascend would that chakra fine. would open right back up yeah he'd be fine um but yeah so they get to the play um and it's funny because the the play poster is the season one poster that's so uh, funny there was a lot of um fourth wall breaks a lot of uh -huh. meta you know I, so I, I think uh, when they said, when that kid goes, your scar's on the wrong side, I think <laughs> there was continuity errors. If you watch like the first two or three episodes of Avatar where Zuko's scar kept moving. Oh. And so they were just like, I, I'm pretty sure it was just a joke on how they like kept fucking up his scar. So they were like, oh, Oh, I didn't shit. even know that. That's yeah, so funny. And then like, I mean, this whole episode is just like a meta. 
Like yeah, I'm like, being. I was really like, hard on it. It is good. <laughs> it is. It's not a bad episode. But but like them making fun of the characters they wrote. Yeah, like, yeah. I love how they were like, "Did Jet die?" And they're like, "We don't know." It was pretty unclear. Which is hilarious because it was fucking unclear. It was unclear that he did die. Yeah, the set. I feel like the censors couldn't like. Yeah. Say that he's fucking dead. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe they got a new rating for this season because they say die pretty. They say they and they try and get around the word death constantly. I think when you watch Cora, you'll see that they it's a little more mature. So oh, I, really? I feel like they've allowed the show to be like because I think the first two the first season in particular was probably there like, oh, there's a kid show. There's a children. And so now they're like, OK, we could push the boundaries of PG-13 a little yeah. bit. Yeah. But um. Yeah, no, super meta. Um, a lot of those jokes. Everyone was so pissed about how they were perceived. And then yeah. Toph, who was the most inaccurately perceived, was the happiest with that. I mean, that. you got to just let roll with the punches. I mean, oh, Toph has yeah. a good attitude about it. Can you yeah, imagine if does. someone made a movie about you and you didn't know about it? And then you have like, I don't know. Playing yeah, you, and I then- mean, you're you're a boy. Like if a guy played me... Or like how Aang, like a, a fully developed woman, it is makes playing me, it him. It makes me think so of like funny. what I'm. I'm curious what Mark Zuckerberg thought of like, you know, the Social Network or like all. Yeah, these but people. like he, he did an, an Jesse Eisenberg did an incredible job. Yeah, but I, I'm he watching did an that job. honestly, watching that must be a fucking trip. Oh, I can't even imagine. Like if someone made a movie about my life and I'm not like hello old or some shit, you know? Yeah, like, if I'm like only ten years older, if even bro, then. If I was thirty and they're like, "This is twenty year old Justin," I'd be like. Oh, why are you doing that? I'd be like, oh. is that Angelina Jolie's adopted kid from Cambodia? Yeah. Why, is he play- why is he playing me? Why? I mean, how did they even do they? Obviously, Zuckerberg had to give them approval. I think it's based off a book that was written. And so he I, I'm 90 percent sure it's based off a book that he oh. had involvement in. But then they adapted it into a movie. So then he's just like, oh, OK. I don't know, man. That would trip me the fuck out if yeah. someone made a movie about me. Um, that would oh my gosh and it also just goes to show like plays <clears throat> are so funny good and important but they can be so bad yeah i was laughing at these stage hands oh my they're the gosh. best just well, one and the old acting guy, and then like a, <clears throat> pulling the fan like yeah <laughs> I, I think uh yeah the acting is hilarious it's, uncle <laughs> uncle i need to regain my honor i just can't oh, <laughs> oh look there's zuko's honor where and they, it, she fucking it, all, it made me laugh because Kayla used to do uh, theater in high school uh-huh. and just like everyone in tech who just wore black you know what I mean yeah like I could see my friends in the back like fuck <laughs> yeah yeah you should I need to show you my sister in uh, Peter Pan because she was the crocodile oh my god and yeah and uh, but uh, my favorite part is like you could see the moment so she's on her stomach <laughs> in a crocodile suit no and with wheels and she's crawling and <laughs> they put fog up and she couldn't see and you just hear pop and then she, <laughs> the crocodile hits one of the one of the, like the stairs and then she like crawls away because <laughs> she couldn't see because of the fog that's so, so funny fucking funny oh the, god as a lost one in those shows we had to like guide her oh to her marks too. my god so we were supposed to like help her see because she was face down on the ground on a dolly and oh she was pushing herself on the dolly Kayla, is- Kayla, we were watching it one day and Kayla's like that's where I hit my head and I was like that's, that's so funny I kind of a little bit am sad that I never partook in like high school theater, oh. but I'm also a perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm you're also like, like, perfectly fine. But then, uh, and then they have like a weird Zutara moment, and yeah, it gets him really upset. He gets so in his head. Yeah, he's, he's so. I, in love his head. I thought you were the Avatar's girl. He's like, yeah, fuck yeah, she is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, no, I just liked him as a brother. And they went outside, and they had she, that talk. They had the talk. That should have She's come a long just time ago. Confused. Yeah, and like I get, like I on, I wish she would have just been like, "Listen, I like you, but it's just not the right time now." But like, let's revisit this. You know, yeah. if I mean, he's live. and he's he's like, "When is the right time?" Yeah, you know, which and she's like after the war. That's true. 
That's it. To After be fair, the war. I, if I was Aang, bro, I just missed out 100 years. I'm trying to get some shit done. Uh, yeah. And he's also like, what if this war doesn't end? Like, can yeah, we just if, never like, fucking be together? Yeah. What if it? What if we lose? Like, are yeah. we going to fucking... Like, let's separate work and play. Come but on. But then um, I thought Zuko and Toph had a really cute moment. That was really sweet. Because uh, she did talk to Iroh for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she. I was waiting um, for that to come up, yeah, honestly. Yeah, and then, um, of course... Uh, Zuko had a little smile. He's yeah. like, oh, your oh, uncle. Okay. So it's going to be really awesome when they reunite. I'm so ready. I'm so fucking tired of him. I keep waiting for him to pop the fuck up. And then I'm the, like, the ending of the play ends with all of them dying. <laughs> yeah, they all die at the end. And, and it's so sobering. Everyone's clapping because they're like, hell yeah, the propaganda machine rolls on. Yep. It kind of reminded me because we were talking about Game of Thrones. Uh, like, oh. uh, like, Do you remember that scene after the Red Wedding when Arya, or no, I don't think it was right after the Red Wedding. I think it was Arya was um, like watching a play yes. of someone puppeteering yep. the Red Wedding. And yeah. she was like, what the fuck? Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And it, it was, was so ugh, jarring and sobering and awful. I mean, that's just like propaganda. Have yeah. you ever seen like 1940s, like old, like like Looney Tunes or Disney cartoons and they're like war propaganda? Yes, yes. And they fully have like... Hitler in it, mm-hmm. and 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 like uh, they have the like Emperor the, the funny like bombs, and they're like, pew, woo, 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 and they're so woo. racist, and yeah, it's like, so bad. I mean, they used to just like watch that shit, like yeah, it was candy. children. Yeah, no wonder children. Our, no wonder the later generation is like kind of fucked. Yeah, no, a hundred percent. Or like, uh, have you ever seen like war propaganda that like Nazi Germany or Imperial Japan has ha- hands out to the nations they've invaded? Oh, it's geez. like pretty crazy. It's like, you know what I mean? So propaganda is a whole machine, man. Yeah. That's how you penetrate. That's yeah. why everyone is cheering. I would honestly get so uncomfortable if people were like cheering for my downfall. Oh, uh, yeah. Theater, that would be terrifying. In a theater. Because like, you're Fuck supposed yeah, to kill them. Yeah. Because then you're supposed to be like, you're hoping that you can kill the Fire Lord and lead these people. Like, yeah. there. it's just going to, I'm just so, I'm like, oh my. Would it kind of freak you out showing the ending, huh? Like when they're like, <laughs> yeah i i was like no no no, no. I, I was like i don't like this at all i don't <laughs> like this at all i don't like this at all it was making me nervous um yeah. and so it d- we only have two episodes left right four we have four we're gonna watch it all together though we're watching all four in one yeah, yeah okay we, we can't split that okay i didn't it's know the finale it's a four-part finale oh my god isn't that crazy to- next time we sit in these exact seats we're gonna be talking about the end of avatar which, I can't which, think about that. I'm going to cry. Started our show. I actually will cry. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. I mean, not right now. I mean, okay. like, li- like. It's oh, gonna I'm going to so... cry every time I see the the finale. I cry a little bit. Oh. Uh, and I'm an adult. I'm nervous. And it still hits the same. I'm really nervous. It's going to be fucking lit, dude. And um, but yeah, it's a little emotional. Look at us. Our whole journey, dude. We're we've come to, so far. We're about to end Avatar. That's crazy. That was like, you know, thinking back. I mean, we'll talk about more talk about it more when we do the last thing yeah but i this was like the first conversation we've ever had at a yeah. food festival talking yep. about the podcast yep. and we look so look i'll put up a picture we look, we look so like ha- babies we look happy i'm walking yeah you're walking <laughs> we're eating such good food we ate such good food but then we were like let's do avatar yeah it was so it was that one was so clearly like the one that we were gonna start with yeah because it's like the most easily accessible and also everyone has seen it yeah except um, for me yeah except for you <laughs> which is the whole crux of the show. The entire crux um, of the show. But uh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's crazy that we've gotten all the way to the finale so quickly as yeah. well. Yeah. It yeah. feels like this has flown by. Season three, Absolutely 100%, flown by. Yeah. So yeah. I just, I, I've, this has been such a good season. It's been such a good fucking yeah, season. season. I love this season hype. so much. And I'm very sad that it's going to be over, but I'm really excited to watch these last episodes. So, all right. We'll see you we'll at the see finale. You next week. Um, like, rate, subscribe, follow us on TikTok and Instagram at Spicy Tuna Pod and YouTube at Spicy Tuna Pod and Patreon at Spicy Tuna Pod. Uh, our five dollar tier, you can watch all of our reactions. Watch our reactions to the finale; they're going to be amazing, oh. and we're not going to cut a lot of stuff, so you can watch like all of it. Um, and yeah, comment on uh whatever you want. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Hey, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Spicy Tuna Pod. You can like, follow, subscribe at Spicy Tuna Pod. You can watch us on YouTube, and you can listen to us anywhere you get your podcasts.